you have another game under your belt, and I hope your brain's already starting to bubble up ideas for things you can do to improve it. Plus you learn more skills, not least SK Crop Node, SK Texture, GCD's Async After Method, plus lots of new SK Action Types. So it's all time well spent. Try experimenting with the difficulty and see what you come up with. Is it easier or harder if the penguin show slash hide animation happens at random speeds? And remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. I prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you can put your newfound knowledge to use straight away to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, record your own voice saying game over and have it play when the game ends. Second, when showing game over, add an SK label node showing their final score. And third, use SK emitter node to create a smoke-like effect when penguins are hit and a separate mud-like effect when they go into or come out of a hole. 